So you guys know Vivi. We're actually up at our friend's property, which is right next to our camp. And one of the things I was anticipating this week was not being able to have any cell service. And much to my surprise, we actually did have cell service. So um, we had actually had a second map all set before we came up. One of the challenges is setting the map when we came up, because we're in a bit of a remote location. It's not well mapped by Google Maps, was just doing our best, right? And then once we got here, and I knew we were in the boundary, I turned it on. Um, and there were definitely some adjustments I had to make. Uh, there was nothing wrong with Halo, I don't believe. Um, just minor adjustments on the map. Uh, so I actually kind of walked the property with her. And what has been wonderful is I've been able to edit and change those. You know, whether it was we have a small pond over here and restricting her access to the pond. Uh, it's still icy out. I don't want her falling in, for example. Um, so, you know, all yeah, I did there. was kind of make like a U-shape around it. Sinker. Or down at the lake when, she, of course, she did like actually yes. eventually get in that pond, uh, you know, making sure that she could go in the you water to go ahead and get her feet wet. Monster. Um, those have been actually huge improvements for us. The most interesting note that I had about the Halo wireless collar is how much my dog has now adjusted to that sound and the vibration at this point. So I took off her Halo wireless collar to actually walk that border and make sure that I knew where all the boundaries were, make sure that they were accurate. And as soon as I turned them off, or as soon as I took off her collar, she was up the road. She knew, she was like, oh, I don't have my collar on. I have no boundaries. And so she was, she was off and running. Um, what's interesting is she has now really well adjusted to the whistle that's actually part of the collar. I'm still finding the app incredibly cumbersome for actual workability whenever I'm here. Um, and so I just think that that really just needs to be addressed. But the collar itself has been working great. She's had a lot of freedom, which she enjoys. And, you know, she honestly, she just kind of wants to lay outside. So I wish I had more to report as far as being at a completely remote location with the map set up. I think you could still test that with turning off your phone because you wouldn't have cell service necessarily. Um, and maybe I'll try that just to see, you know, how does it, you know, maybe I'll adjust it and actually turn up my phone and try it that way. Um, but again, my experience, uh, you know, has been very positive. I have a lot of feedback that I, I hope that if the company sees this, if other people see it, it's not feedback that's meant as a criticism. It's meant as feedback that's constructive and, you know, hopefully it's things that you will address and take a look at. Um, but overall, you know, honestly, this collar has been a huge game changer for us. Um, and what was the most significant thing for me was realizing how much Vivi has learned that sound of vibration is. One other thing I will say is um, because there was a bit of unpredictability when I got up here, just setting it up, uh, what I did is I actually took off the, I took off the static. So now actually all she's getting is a, uh, she gets a sound and then she gets a vibration and she does get static, but it's like level one, which you can barely feel. Um, and she's responding to those two prompts uh, very easily. And I can turn that up if I need to once I'm feeling more comfortable with the actual boundaries. I just haven't had a chance to really prove every single um, edge at this point. But, um, you know, she's done great. And of course, <laughs> she's out of sight right now. Um, but I will call her back and we'll watch her come on back. All right, here we go. Yep, there she is. I just gave her a feedback boundary. Uh, and that was just a whistle. And she knew right away it's she needs to be up around camp. She was looking for our friends who actually, uh, you know, took kind of a walk and a hike uh, with the kids. But she can't go past that boundary where they went. So she was headed in that direction. Uh, but again, I mean, it's it's working as expected at this point. So, which is awesome. Come here, babe. And yes, if you're looking, you do see maple syrup being tapped from the trees right there. <laughs>